Welcome back for round two. Why do I say two? Because we don't only have one, we have two special pairs from Paolo Scapora that I'm going to show you today. Coming up. I love custom shoes. I love them. You take a shoe or you take a basic design and you just customize it exactly how you want it. You, exactly how you envision it. You, I want this color, I want this construction, I want this model, I want this sole, I want my initials hammered in. It's absolutely fantastic. And especially when you take something that is so expensive, it really has to be perfect in the way you want it. And that's why I love Paolo Scafora. He can make anything that you can imagine. And today I have two pairs that are both made to orders. One of them is going to Australia and one of them is going to Canada. So really excited to show you. Uh, first of all, we have this really beautiful skin stitched, under skin stitched uh, double monk in sort of like a navy patina called Oceano. And we also have this very, very aggressive split toe. Well, not exactly split toe, I would say derby with a Norwegian apron, like a really aggressive last on a more light brown, mid brown patina. And quite a very interesting sole, I would say. So we're going to talk about again a bit about the sizing. I'm going to show you the leather. I'm going to show you close-ups and I'm going to talk about each model briefly individually. And in the end, we're going to talk availability. All right, let's get to it. Uh, as you see here, I have both shoes. Uh, I also have the box and also the shoe bags from last time. Uh, pretty much, I will not go through the box and the shoe bags. You can check the video that is coming up somewhere up across the screen. And so we will leave that and we'll go straight to the shoes. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, first of all, let's start with this. So this is uh, a derby, a very casual derby, though very aggressive. However, it is not a split toe derby as I thought initially. So you can see here the, the usual apron and how sharp it is. And, but here there is no split. So it's just a regular derby it's a very, we say, unusual design. Uh, it is on the Q last, which is, you can see, very aggressively squared. I would say this is medium to like a high uh, square uh, toe. Uh, as for the color, I think uh, this is called Antiquid uh, Ravello. So I'm not sure I'm saying this right. And as for the style, uh, I think this model is called the 35VA. So they tend to have more technical terms. Um, you can see that this color is, you would say, more mid-brown, borderline lighter when, you know, light hits it. Of course, it comes with the uh, brandy shoe trees, uh, some really nice flat, flat laces. Let me see if I can show you better. So you can get a closer look. So this is the Derby. Uh, of course, uh, you can see very nice 360 Norwegian construction. You can take a look at the grain, you can see the last, uh, you can see, you know, how clean everything is here. And of course, the shoe tree is perfect, uh, has a really nice texture to it. Uh, but what about uh, the underside? You can see here how, you know, how, how sharp the last is. It's very unusual for a model like this, which is already pointy. Uh, and uh, it's very interesting that uh, my friend Richard chose this specific soul, which is also a city soul, like the previous one, but not Vibram. This is sort of like a commando soul. So it gives it a more bulky appearance. But honestly, when I see it compared to the video, I think it's quite nice. I would maybe just choose a little bit softer last. I think the aggressive soul makes it for rather unique as well. So this is the 35VA. Now let's take a look at the mocks. This one uh, is going to Canada. Unfortunately, it looks quite darker than it might be uh, like off screen or when the light hits it. Uh, this one is the Art 742 and it is also on the Q last. And immediately you can see it's also very sharp. However, you can see that it, it looks a little more normal, I would say, and expected on, uh, on a shoe like this. Uh, this one, uh, the difference is that the Norwegian construction also, but it's uh, it's called half Norwegian. In a sense, it's 270 degrees because it stops 
here just before uh, the hill and the color is called Oceano so it's sort of a navy with a lighter gradient and it's just you know your regular double monk however what makes it unique is let me see if I can show you so you can see here uh, this is uh, you can call it under skin stitched or skin stitched it depends reverse skin stitched uh, I, I like to call it skin stitch because uh, pretty much it's sewed underneath and what you see here is the result from the other side it is very 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 interesting and there is also here you can see towards the quarters and it's a, it's a very unique small touch really and the sole this time we have a full uh, leather sole so i can show you how magnificent <laughs> the palace capora soles are and you can see here that it it is pretty much full leather sole however uh, this is more of a natural leather color uh, like mid dark brown and on the top you have the oceano color again like the uppers and of course the palace capora embossed logo which is beautiful and what I want to show you is that you can also hammer designs here with nails. So these are, for example, the initials uh, of the receiver in Canada. And, I mean, it's a really interesting shoe and definitely from the two, probably what I would wear. Very interesting designs. Uh, let me show you one more time. And why don't you tell me in the comments down below which one is your favorite? Well, I'd have them too. All right, let's get on with it. Ah, there we go. Two very different, two very interesting shoes to complete this sort of made-to-order week and, well, two videos in a row. I'm very excited and very happy that I got the opportunity to, to try them on and I honestly, I wish they were mine. Maybe you could probably see it in my face. Uh, from all three, including the shark ones, I think the shark one was the most unique. Uh, but I'm a sucker for navy monks and I think this actually looks better in person than when you see it maybe in photos. It's, it has very aggressive design and last. Uh, anyways, uh, when it comes to sizing, uh, so let's see, uh, this one is, is called the Q-Last as we said and generally I find it also fitting just like the regular Paolo Scafora ones, you would size down half from your regular and generally from what I found from the monks as well they are very slightly more generous maybe across the instep compared to the Q last and honestly I would also size down half definitely for both so now that you've seen three different uh, Paolo Scafora last you see that they are quite uh, similar across the board which is great because if you nail your size in one you can pretty much know your size on the other ones when it comes to availability and pricing, of course, you can go through the Paolo Scafora Mator configurator or you can just send me an email and I will really appreciate it. Pretty much the price will be the same. You just help a small business or you go directly to the source. Both are excellent. And for a price quote on this, because it depends on a lot of factors, just send me an email and I will leave it in the description down below and just ask me for a quote and I will come back. Just make sure to ask me, I want this sort of model and maybe with this construction and this the leather, so the more I can give you a more accurate quote. Great. So now uh, that pretty much concludes this video and this short two part series about uh, Mate Warriors and Paolo Scapora. So what's left? Well, pretty much since uh, I hope you had a good time here, I hope that you will press the like button, uh, leave some comment with your thoughts or what you would like to see next, and of course the whole setup. And of course, if you're new, please consider pressing the subscribe button. I will really appreciate it. Like I'm getting uh, quite excited about making these videos, especially when I have really great things to show you. And before you go, you know what's coming. So what do you call an alligator with a vest? An investigator, of course. <laughs> it gets worse every time. And this one, fittingly, comes from Florida and Richard. As always, if you have a really bad dad joke that you want to share with me, please leave it in the comments down below. I love you all. See you in the next one. Bye.